Okay, everyone, I'm here with Ami Gosalia uh, from InVenture. We have a product called Copa Rahisi that they're running across several emerging markets. Um, Ami, thank you for being on MosesCanBeBorrowed.com. Uh, Ami, I just have a few questions um, to ask you that our readers and people on this blog would want to sort of understand. What, what is Mkopo Rahisi? Yeah, so Mkopo Rahisi is an Android app that allows a user to, they download the app, they answer a series of questions, and we use the data on the device to determine their credit worthiness. If they qualify, they get an instant loan delivered to their mobile money accounts. What sort of loan sizes are you currently giving out on Copa Rahisi? Yeah, so in Kenya right now, we, our loans range between 2,000 and 4,000 shillings, which is about 20 to 50 US dollars. But we're working on kind of increasing that in the future. Okay, so how, how big might you be able to loan in the near future? I think um, at some point in this year, we'll probably kind of go up to maybe around the range of 10,000 shillings. Okay. And what is different about the Mkopo Rahisi compared to Mshwari, which we all know is available from Safaricom? Yeah, so there are a couple couple big differentiators. One is that we're not you're not required to have any kind of savings account that you're lending against. Um, the interest doesn't compound. Another uh, key part of it is that it's all the data that we're actually using to underwrite someone. So rather than just looking at someone's what's in their current balance in their account, we look at a lot of different indicators. We look at about 10,000 data points per user to determine someone's credit score. We look at everything from their social network, to their financial transactions, to their behavior around what kind of things they're, they're purchasing, what kind of things they're looking for on the internet, um, a, a variety of variables that help us to understand someone's risk profile. So if I wanted to use Mkopo Rahisi, what do I need to do and how long does it take to get a loan? Yeah, so all you need to do is, on your Android device, you can go into the Google Play Store, search Mkopo Rahisi, you download the app, then you can connect using either your Facebook account or Google account. You answer a series of about, about, of about 10 questions, and instantly you're given a decision of whether you're approved or not. And if you're approved, you're sent uh, the loan instantly to your mobile money account. That all happens within the course of about five minutes. Five minutes. So I get a loan in five minutes, two to 4,000 shillings, depending on my credit score. Depends on how fast you fill out the application, but yeah. OK. And I mean, the fact that Kenya is predominantly still a feature phone market, and you're talking about an Android um, app. Um, doesn't that limit your market reach, or are there other people who are not getting onto the opportunity to use your services? Yeah, so I mean, this was a, a big decision for us, and what we've been seeing both in Kenya and a lot of the emerging markets we're looking at and working in is that Android is growing very, very quickly. So there's about close to a billion Android devices in the world right now. If you look at somewhere like Kenya, we believe there's around like five to seven million Android devices currently in the market, and that number is growing very quickly. I, I think there was about a 30% growth just in the last, I, I think since 2013. And so we see this trend growing and growing. And um, as, I was, as I was mentioning to you a little bit earlier, there, you know, there are a lot of markets, where, like you, if you go into areas where you would not think people would have Android phones, you see people that actually ha have smartphones. They're using them to, on, to be on Facebook, to send messages to their family through WhatsApp. And so we really believe this growth over time. I mean, you can buy an Android device on the market here for about the equivalent of 20 US dollars, 2,000 shillings. So. so really it's becoming a lot more prevalent, I think, than, than it used to be. Absolutely. And in terms of loans, uh, how many loans have you managed to successfully uh, loan out in Kenya? So in Kenya now, we're, we're close to about 50,000 loans dispersed to about 20,000 customers. 20,000 customers. And are they regular customers? Do they take many loans or just one loan? Yeah, so um, on average, a customer takes about 12 loans a year, 10 to 12 loans a year. And so we see we have a high repeat rate. So for um, we see about a 95% retention rate on people after the first loan. And in terms of, I mean, obviously, when presumably you use your machine learning and algorithm, um, there must be a number of candidates who don't qualify. Mm -hmm. So what is the success rate or failure rate in terms of applicants versus actual loanees? Yeah. Um, right now, we see about a 50%, 40 to 50% approval rate. And we're working on seeing how we can increase that in the future, maybe qualify some people for smaller size loans to begin with and work their way up. But at the moment, we're at about 50%. And how does one find out about, you know, Copa Rahisi? I think I kind of stumbled onto it. And how, how do people know that it exists and how, how they get advantage or the opportunity to use it? Yeah, so, I mean, if you have an Android device and you're in Kenya, you have the opportunity to use some Copa Rahisi. So hopefully some people will find out through this, through this blog. But um, <laughs> some other ways, I mean, traditionally we've done, most of our marketing has been either through ads online, things like, you know, Facebook, AdWords and so on websites, and then a lot of it, about 70% of our traffic has been through referrals and word of mouth. 
we're also now starting to do some more like below the line campaigns so you'll, you'll start to see us more probably around town around Nairobi and other places but things like on campuses um, in you know in activations that sort of right, thing right activations markets things like that and what does the next sort of uh, two to five years look like? I mean, I know you're not just in Kenya, but which markets are you in? And, you know, what, what are you looking at going down the road two to five years from yeah. now? Um, right now we're in, so we're in Kenya and Tanzania officially. We're looking at a lot of other markets, both in Africa and other um, emerging markets around the world. I think in the next two years, um, I think we'll be, we imagine, you know, we, our goal is to be in about five markets and to be really starting to scale in those markets. And what I see us doing is really is offering this, this kind of product to people, not only offering just basic credit, but actually opening up financial services to more and more. Thank you, thank you very much for giving us some insights on Copa Rahisi and also um, you know, getting a sense of where microcredit is going in this country and also in other emerging markets. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing more great things about um, Copa Rahisi and adventure. Thank you so much for having me.